Hello and welcome to another episode of the CEO Peak. And today I'm so uh, I'm so glad to have uh, David Mariani with us. Uh, and welcome, David. Thank you, Dave. Uh, David is the CEO of uh, At Scale, the company that puts the power of uh, big data in the hands of the business user. So welcome, David. Thanks, and uh, I'm so glad to have you here on the show. I've been a data guy all my career, so always loved big data, business intelligence, and been struggling, of course, with what you just mentioned. It's like, how do business users get control and be able to self-serve and, and basically answer their own questions? Um, and in the era of big data, you know, I was at Yahoo back in 10 years ago, and, and, and then Yahoo was unique in terms of being a big data company. Mm -hmm. Well, now, flash forward you know, 10 years, everybody has big data. So the problem has gotten worse, not better, as data has grown and the business intelligence tools have pretty much stayed the same. So how do we cross that gap where we let users leverage the tools they know and love, um, but get, get access to a much broader, detailed, granular set of data to make decisions? How was the transition from being in one function of technology engineering into the CEO that you need to oversee all the other functions in the company, from legal to investor relationship to, to anything. And I never planned on being CEO. That was never my end goal. I love technology and I love technology so much and wanted to solve this problem so badly that there was really nobody else to go and get it done. So what that meant is that I had to go and raise the money. Um, if I'm gonna raise financing, that means I had to go build the team uh, to actually build the product and then go to market with that team so, um, and with that product. You know, when you hired all these people, you had a very short time to have them buy in into your vision. You came with that, you were the founder. How you did it quickly and effectively to bring them to be part of your family that actually own the vision as you do? You know, it's... Uh, I like to say like the first the first 80 people that we hired at AtScale, we all knew. Uh, so it was one degree of separation. So everybody knew knew, knew um, at least one other person. And so um, a lot of that comes with age and experience. Um, and so we live in a, in a, in a culture in Silicon Valley, Valley that Valley that's very youth oriented. Um, and that's great because you, with youth, you get energy. Yeah. Um, but with age, you get experience and you get a broad network. I don't necessarily I like that, that whole idea yeah. that failing is, is somehow a success in its own right. Um, you know, it's, uh, um, a, 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 you don't need to fail if, you've, if you have people around the table that have seen the patterns and hopefully can predict or, or avoid the potholes because they've stepped in one before. When you're in an organization and in a, an industry where you have a startup where you're living from round to round, um, you need to know that the, in the people that work for you need to know where we are um, and, and need to have confidence that, that, that they're, they're a part of this journey and they have full information. So for me, it's a, you know, we have, you know, we have weekly um, all hands and the, the all hands are, are very much uh, we put it all out there. You know, everybody knows what, how we're doing in sales, good or bad. Yeah. Um, everybody knows how we're doing when it comes to the competition. Um, everybody knows what we're doing financially. Uh, so, uh, you, you know, it, and I find that that's really liberating because um, rather than us trying to hold back information and be careful about what we say, um, we can be very open and that builds trust. But sometimes your strengths in certain situations can become weaknesses. And if you're self-aware of what your strengths are and your weaknesses, but in, you, you have to be cognizant of both. Because in my case, I'm very transparent and open, which, 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 you know, uh, which people like. Um, but sometimes that can become, in certain situations, an impediment for me giving constructive feedback, for example, because I want people to like me. Uh, and so as long as I'm, I'm, I'm self-aware that that is something that is, is, is I'm about, then I can make sure that I'm compensating for the situations where that strength can become a weakness. David, I wish you all the best with your journey towards IPO and a global success. I know that you're expanding internationally, so yeah. I, I all the best with that. And uh, thank you so much uh, for sharing your wisdom with our audience. And uh, 
Thank you for watching this show and we'll see you in the next episode uh, of the CEO Pick. Thanks.